don't know what I'm feeling. I'm nervous, I'm excited. Well, it is a reunion you will only see here on 10 News. 32 years after a mother fatally jumped from the Coronado Bridge holding her three-year-old daughter. That daughter is now fully grown and she met one of the witnesses in the harbor that day. 10 News reporter Travis Rice has the story and why this reunion is happening now. That man was just 10 years old when he saw Bertha and her mother taken out from the water. Three decades later, he saw her story online and knew he had to meet her. This is really weird. What are you even supposed to say? It's wild. To someone you've never met. I mean, I feel like I have to apologize. But they know you from a tragedy. Because he's gone through it in a different way that I have. Hi. I'm Fred. Hi, Fred. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Sometimes people just want to know if you're doing okay. It's so cool to meet you. It's a question Fred Moppin is getting the answer to 32 years later. How are you? I'm good. Look, yeah. I'm okay. I know. <laughs> he was just a boy on his parents' sailboat when Bertha Luis's mother jumped holding her. It happened and we were headed straight for it and they were pulling her into the boat. Um, I remember it just being surreal. Fred says he put the incident in the back of his mind, but it grew as he got older. That's how it became more um, tragic and, and scarring. Remembering that that someone could do that uh, with their with their baby. Oh yeah. Bertha and Fred agree the reason they're meeting never should have happened. I, I feel better that he can see that I'm okay and that he can remember that instead of the bad stuff. It's closure. Taking a memory that was so haunting, and turning the page and better in Coronado better ending to the story that I had in my mind Travis Rice 10 news